Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. It's been a hot minute since I've uploaded. I'm going to be doing the smoky eye for you today. Skip all the dabble dribble, whatever it's called, and let's get on to the video. Today I'm going to be grabbing my Theravan face oil and just applying that all over my face. Keep it nice and hydrated, keep it moist, hate that word. Applying it with my hands, make sure they're clean. Grab my Vivid Collection foundation in the shade Ivory and applying that to my face as you would normally apply a foundation. Grabbing my little beauty blender, I'm just going to be dabbing that into my face just to make sure that it's seamless. I absolutely hate this concealer, but it's the only one I have right now that I'm actually sort of enjoying. I'm just going to apply this onto my face, all the necessary places to highlight and to detide. <laughs> and then grabbing my little beauty blender and blending that in. This step is extremely important. You want to set your face. So I'm using my Yardley Absolute Translucent Powder and applying that to all the places that I just contoured. Grabbing my Vivid Collection Compact Powder in the shade ivory as well and applying that all over my face just to set the rest of my base. This is my all-time favorite brow product so I'm using the last two shades and just kind of switching between the two shades to yeah, carve up my brows. <laughs> so if you want a more in-depth tutorial on how to do brows let me know and I'll do it for you. I don't know what palette this is, but I'm going to be taking these two lighter pink shades and this is going to be acting as my transitional color. But just remember that these products are buildable and you don't want to go too crazy first hand, so I just take it slow. Then I'm going to be wetting my brush just to intensify this red shade, just so, you know, it can be intense, I guess. <laughs> and then just blend it in for a more seamless finish. Grabbing the darker shade from my LA Girl brow kit, I'm just going to be darkening up the crease and yeah, that's all I can say about that. And then grabbing concealer and just carving out the cut crease. I'll be holding you. Dab, 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 use your finger. <laughs> I'm going to be setting that with the same translucent powder. And because I lost a little bit of color, I'm just going to be putting a little bit more and blending that in. Grabbing my awesome favorite Wet n Wild Gold Glitter, I'm going to be applying that to all the places that we just concealed. Wiping away the bake. And then applying the LA Girl Gel Liner, and unfortunately my camera cut out in the middle of me actually applying this. So you didn't get the wing, but I'll do a video for you on that. And then applying that also to the waterline, and then smudging out whatever leftover product I have on my brush just to blend it out nicely. Grabbing my next Dull Eye Mascara, the waterproof one, and just applying that to the top and lower lashes. And then I'll also be applying falsies. Voila! <laughs> Grabbing my Hula Bronzer, I'm going to be bronzing my cheekbones just to chisel it out a little bit and uh, just to bronze out my face and also don't forget the double chin because we all know I have a double chin thank you so much for reminding me this is the essence shape your face trio thing I'll be grabbing the blush from it and then grabbing the metal chrome blush from essence as well and applying that as a highlighter Just to finish off the look, I'll be using my Design Liquid Lipstick, I think in the shade Tango. It said it on the screen, I just didn't read it. And just applying that as usual. Well, that is the completed look. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, please let me know. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and comment down below what you would like me to do next. I hope you have an awesomely, fantastically, fantastical day. And I'll see you in the next one. Ciao, bye!